So it's bleak and dim in the year 2099. So there's not a lot of space anymore. No. Check out what they did with the zoos. I did a complete overhaul of the zoo. It's a completely different design that I'm working on thanks to something that popped into my head and a few things from Steve. You may remember Steve, the, the third co-host. He's not here very often. He's in our intro page. Hey, I'm Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and this is built from bricks. Anyway, a redesign of the zoo. I want to be able to show the minifigs of the future. 80 years from now, 2099, that there are animals and they still need to be taken care of and they're still important. So it's a different type of zoo and we're going to get into how I'm designing this and it's a modular zoo. It takes a lot less space but they still have a habitat and enclosures and, and the minifigs of the future can still take a look at the animals of the past. Some of them may be extinct someday. I'll show you where I started off with. Okay. So I started off with, I wanted a, I'm going to move this out of the way, hmm. and I have this modular design as things break here. Poor polar bear. This isn't, yeah. this is the unfinished one. This is okay. the prototype. So I started with two of these 16 by 16 plates, mm -hmm. and then locked them all together with this. Uh, and these do not really matter what color they are, because you're not going to, I mean, you're not going to see them sure. on the floor. So okay. I could change this on another so one. So that overlaps it too. Yeah, okay. there's a reason. So I can have oh. an outside wall, okay. and then drop in an exhibit. Oh. So this drops in. There'll be okay. windows on both sides, and it's symmetrical, so you can look from either side. Okay. Uh, I don't like the way this water is. I'm going to redo this. I didn't have the pieces. I did. Again, this was a prototype, so I'm redoing this. I will show you a finished one in a second. But basically, it does make the option to take this out and drop in a different zoo. Oh, drop right. in a different okay. animal enclosure. Yep. Or, you know, whatever else you want to drop in. But for now, I mean, maybe we do like a vegetation one. We need, we need plants and... Sure. We could do a, a garden. You got to feed the animals. We have to feed the animals. Yep. Maybe a garden with carrots and mm. whatnot that we can put in one of these as well. That's another option. Okay. But this is focusing on the animals. And so this was the prototype, and then I'll show you one of the finished ones. Okay. I'm going to bring in a finished one now. Get that, and here is one of the finished ones, and I think it came out good. You may remember the previous hippo enclosure. It was rather large, it was very organic looking, a lot of bamboo leaves, there was an island in the middle, and then a couple of hippos swimming in the water. Yeah, oh, it was, it was big. Yeah, and here's the remnant of it right here. Yeah, that's... You can't really see, but there's a remnant in front of us. And this is the new design, mm. and so... We have, if you can see this, is the inside. We have two hippos in here, the same hippos we had before. Right. Well, you kind of changed the little baby a little bit, didn't you? I might have shrunk the baby a little bit. Yeah. There's a, again, if you can get that, there's a little baby in there. We'll take a close-up picture of that so you can see that. And we got the bamboo, a little bit of the features of the original large one, but it's in a smaller container because, again, we don't have a lot of space. Sure. I did make this symmetrical so you have viewing from this side. You can see the baby on that side. If you come around this way, you can flip it around. You're walking on this side. Yeah. And see that side as well. And the, the big hippo, they don't have as much room, so they have to deal with the lack of space. Yeah. And there may be some funny things still added in here. I do see we have some little Easter eggs in here. There's Niffler hiding on top of the bamboo, as well as Gizmo over here with a cookie on the island. And an actual egg. And there's an egg in here, too. So there's, there's no issue with breeding. There's no issue with population, but we have to control it into a smaller area to, to allow the public to be able to see it still. Okay. On the outside here, we have these, you see these four studs? Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is for putting a sign. So mm. we can take tiles. I don't know if there are tiles in front of me. Here, here's a nice tile. And that tile will work. This tile. We got a two by four, it's meant for a two by four tile, which I'll probably print stickers for and call and give it the name, you know, hippos on this one. Sure. And that way everybody knows what it is. Mm. If you didn't know by looking through the window what it was, this will tell you what it is. I can have those printed or just do some, well, figure out a... You should, you should use the names that, have you seen that the guy who, like, calls, um, snakes like Murder Noodle and, uh, you know, <laughs> no. things like that. They give them these weird, weird names. You should use those weird names. That would be funny if we can come up with some of the names yeah. like that. Yeah. So this is the future enclosure and the plan is, there's a couple ideas. So I'm not sure how we're gonna pull this off. Okay. One of them is connecting them, there's gonna be a walkway on both sides. Okay. And these are supposed to be in the style of Ready Player One, the stacks. Mm, yeah. So you have this attached, and another one that would be here, like on the side of it. Okay. And another one on this side, connected by those 45s, yep. and then two more stacked on top like this, with okay. stairs going and walkways between them. Would, Still it be, uh, would you have like, you know, almost like girder space in between, so that 
you know, they kind of stack and overlap differently. That would be a, that's another idea. I'm trying to, we're still working on that. Well, yeah. Steve was the one that came up with that idea. I had thought of like a, a different idea, like a tree idea, like, oh, okay. but this, that's not going to work. But mm -hmm. this makes it modular. And I did tell you how they pull out. The problem with this one, it doesn't really pull out only because there's so much leaves on the edge. Yeah, you got That it's, it's hard it's to, tough it to sticks to the windows and it, I could probably get it out, but I'll probably knock a few bamboo mm. over in the process. But it is modular like the other. It is modular. They're all be modular. There's a penguin exhibit. There's a alligator exhibit coming. There's an elephant enclosure. Someone was upset that I don't have an elephant enclosure anymore. There may not be a giraffe one. If there is, he may have a really, you know, he may be sticking out of the out of the thing a little bit. But... Is your elephant custom guy here? Because that's pretty. No, the elephant's tall, small. Too. Oh, it's small. Okay. Elephant's pretty small. I don't oh, know where the elephant is, but it's around here somewhere. You gotta find the elephant. But that's the future zoo, the dystopian zoo. It's interesting. I like the concept. Yeah. And I like these tile pieces that I use for the water. So I mean, I this one it. looks like you put it into a uh, shipping container. Almost like I mean, that's what they all look like, and that's that's you kind like of the stacks. idea. The colors yeah. will be different. Mm -hmm. The Nile will be brown. There'll be random colors. Mm -hmm. And again, that's also it's a dystopian. So it's not supposed to have like perfect sure, everything. Sure. The walls might be different colors. This one's oh, yeah. white right now to match the habitat, but it doesn't need to be white. It can right. be any color. And I probably sticking away from bright, bright colors. Mm -hmm. You know, reds and, and yellows, but. Yeah, you want like muted colors. Muted and colors. And, you know, and like stuff that I. Color or stuff that I have a lot of. Sure. I have bricks. Have I have a lot of bricks. Mm -hmm. So I can use mason, the 1x2 masonry bricks to make a whole thing out of this. And they're basically stacked straight, and then the last one's staggered so that way I can lock it all together. Nice. I'll probably put some tile and then some like dark gray tiles along this just to lock it even further with some. So yeah. that's if you want to stack them, it'll be easy. It's easy for transport, bringing this to places like Philly Breakfast and stuff. It's also really cool. Are you going to bring that to Philly Breakfast? That's what my plan is to f finish a bunch of these. Nice. I'm using different, these These are what they sit on. They all sit on these plates and I have yep. a ton of these in gray. But I have some in green, which is perfect to not have to build the sure. base up of the color I need. And I have some in blue if I need water exhibits. Nice, okay. So there's, I have to get some tan ones for like the mountain lion area. Instead of building tan, Plates, I can use a pan one of these mm -hmm. and it'll be a lot easier nice. to, start, to start off and then add the texture and the details inside. Yep. That's the zoo, what do you think? I think it looks great. So I'm trying to get Steve here to work on something with me. We'll see if he will or not, or his time. It's a time thing. It's a time thing. I like building this and it helps me, it gives me a break from the city which I've been working on. You may have seen those updates, I'm sure you have. Um, these are fun because they're small contained, I can build them quicker. And I probably work on a couple of these in the next week or two. I have to get them going by April, so I don't have much time left. No. So I may be spending more time on this. You'll see more of these updates. And there'll be city updates as well. I'm working on some things in the city. Um, check out some of the previous episodes on that. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live streams on the third Thursday of each month, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching. What have. You built today. I'm trying to do something different for the intro. I don't know. That's dumb. <laughs> you a better idea. You like to say check out, check it out, check out. Check Shut it out. up. Check, 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 check one, two, three. Check one, check, two, check, 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 check yourself before you wreck yourself. I decided to go a different route with the zoo. Yeah, you had like a giant couple, what, three tables. You had it nine by nine. Um, well, three by three. So nine. Nine total base plates. I yeah. Okay, I made it a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> nine by nine. That yeah, I would. Three run. by three base plates, which is nine base plates, thirty-two bricks yeah, across. So <laughs> but what? You don't want people to see math? All right, <laughs> fine. <laughs>